Hey, hey, what is up? Alex Stara. Alex Stara wants to know, any idea how I could go about making the drop-down icon sit between all and the closing bracket? I'd like the whole text to trigger the drop-down. Let's have a look in Webflow. All right, I'm in Webflow with just a new project here. I'm going to use the drop-down component. Wherever it is, there it is. Drag it on there. And my idea is that I'll just slip this in between the text using position absolute, which it already has actually. So I'm going to change this to all. And then you could do a space here in a closing bracket, but you can only put one space in. Oops. You can't put like multiple spaces. So an easy way to get around this, we'll just do all. And then we'll copy this text block. Actually, before we copy it, let's give it a class drop down text. And now we'll copy it. And within the drop down toggle, since these are stacking, I'm just going to make this position or display flex and we'll align everything into the center and make this a closing bracket. There's multiple ways you could do this. You could give this a left margin of, say, 20 pixels. And let's do one rem. And then this. It has a right margin of 20 pixels, but I don't need any of that. We'll make that zero. And then on the drop down itself, we'll make all these paddings the same. Let's just do two rem. Sure. And then this, we'll set it absolute. Let's see, how is it set right now? It's probably like this. And then we'll just, we can set it however we want like that. And now it's in there. And so that was 30%. Call this drop down icon. And it's actually way too big. So let's bring this down to like one rim on either side. And I want this to be positioned where you had it. Cool. And now we have a working drop down like you asked for. If you want to just play around with the, like there's a little bit too much. I don't need any of that. Oh, it's because I gave it um, to both of them. So we'll call this is right. Or maybe is closing bracket. So we're making a combo class now. So that it doesn't affect the first one. And why am I... Give it a left margin. Okay, here we go. Now we're in business. Here we go. Let's see. If you want to change the color here, just go just the color like this so we can you have that a little bit lighter I think and then I believe you can start doing interactions and stuff too on the element um, do I need to select the actual drop down yeah so drop down opens you could flip this thing around whatever you want to do all right that's it hope that helps